In this video, we'll take a look at what to do if you get a blue screen because you have no space left on your hard drive. For this, we'll need to see if we can get into safe mode. Go into advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and restart. Then select option four to bring us into safe mode. Now, if you can't get into safe mode for any reason, you can use another tool called Hiram's Boot CD, which is a great tool with lots of rescue utilities on. Go ahead and download the ISO and you can burn the ISO to a USB. I've made a video on how you can make a bootable USB from an ISO, so I'll leave a link in the description for this. When you turn on your computer, go to your boot menu or boot manager by selecting one of the F1 to F12 keys or the escape key when you power on your computer. Each vendor uses a different key to get into this menu, so you may need to check the vendor's website first to see which key this is. Once in the boot menu, you can select the bootable USB that you've created from the Hiron's boot ISO. I'll select it from the list and hit enter. That will boot into a Windows pre-installation environment where you can free up space and try to gain access to your files if you need to copy them off. So plug in an external drive if that's the case and you'll be able to copy off the files. Here in Windows Explorer, you have access to start looking at freeing up space on the drive. For this, I'll switch back to the first area that I had in safe mode. Now the first place you can look to free up this space is by running disk cleanup. Right click on your C drive and go to properties. If you don't have your Windows installation installed on the C drive, then go to the drive letter where you have this installed. Once in properties, go to disk cleanup. This will start to calculate how much space can be freed up on your computer. From the results, select the files that you want to delete. So for example, I'll select temporary files to be deleted. Have a look for the other areas where you can delete files which you no longer need. When finished, select OK and confirm to permanently delete files. Once completed, you can go into the C drive, Windows and Temp folder. And here you'll be able to see the files that have been deleted apart from this one folder, which is fine. Then go back one more folder into Windows and this time go into Prefetch. Windows will create a Prefetch file when an application is run from a particular location for the very first time. This is used to help speed up the loading of applications. These can be recreated again by Windows so go ahead and delete them to free up space. Other areas where you can look to delete files is in your user profile as well. Check out your My Documents, Desktop and Downloads folders to see if there's any files you no longer need. Once deleted, check the recycle bin to make sure this is empty. Once you've deleted or freed up enough space, then restart your computer to see if this helps load Windows. So I hope you found this video useful and if it helped you out, then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.